What's going on champs and champets? It's Fire Monkey here and Epic Games confuses me all the time. Now the reason why I'm talking about this in today's YouTube video is because a brand new event just went live in Fortnite called Reboot Rally, which is basically, you know, if I was to summarize this real quick to you guys, refer a friend built into Fortnite. That, that's all it really is, right? Because as you can see here, Elgin players must have played at least less than two hours of Fortnite within the past 30 days before the start of the event, and this also includes new players. So it basically is saying, hey, this is literally what the refer friend website is, but it's built into the game now, therefore it's 10 times cooler or something along those lines. And honestly, as I think about it, right, and as I see, you know, this whole entire refer friend system be built into the game, it really just makes me question why is this here right now, right? And it's not even like a thing of, oh, I'm mad, you know, I'm I'm disappointed that the Epic Games would give me free challenges and stuff to do in game, but it's more so a thing of we we already have refer friend going on right now. Why do they wait a month after like the current refer friend started the website version just to release a built-in game version? Now I won't lie, the challenges are pretty easy. I mean I'm doing some of them right now. It's just you know complete daily quests with eligible friends. Go ahead and complete a battle royale match with eligible friends. Gain XP that type of stuff. So it's not like the challenges are going to be some very difficult thing, and it's not as grindy as refer friends website version is. But it's still something where I'm just wondering why they decided to do this two of these at the exact same time and are we able to even use our refer friend account you know the one that we might have used if we were using bot accounts or whatever for this program as well because of the wording of it being for any account that has played less than two hours of Fortnite within the past 30 days from the event start and of course you know in the past 30 days we had a whole nother refer friend program going on so it's just kind of like a very confusing situation where I was like I, I, I just didn't expect them to make this go live today right I didn't expect them to make this go live until refer a friend the current one going on that ends in like 2023 was to end but I mean hey I'm not gonna complain at the end of the day about the free rewards or anything because I still plan to grind it out if I need to make a new bot lobby account I'm down to do so just so you know I can get the free goodies that are involved with the refer a friend program it's just really well I guess the reboot rally program but it's really just kind of confusing to see epic games decide to do the play of making it go live now instead of you know like waiting a little bit later now as I mentioned for anyone who might be confused about what the challenges are they're pretty simple it's just complete six daily quests on an eligible friend complete a battle royale match and then this down here is five stages of just earn XP in in you know battle royale zero build team rumble or uh, creative matchmaking I don't know why my phone keeps making notifications that's getting kind of annoying but it's basically just play the game earn XP if you have a bot account like mine over there a British man's uh, which I do want to mention was uh, made before the Queen Elizabeth thing uh, don't look at me weirdly please and thank you <laughs> but uh, if, if you really want to it's just really play the game and luckily you're able to play any mode so you could just have like your secondary account or whatever AFK and matches and you'll still be able to earn all the progress and everything you know you complete a challenge it completes for both of them so it's not really anything you have to personally worry about you know getting done now something I did notice is that apparently is a lot shorter amount of time yeah it lasts for one week and six days so you know there's a very small amount of time compared to the other ones for how long you can do this you have basically a week to log in with bot lobby accounts and stuff and that's probably why it is easier this time around right it's probably easier just because of the fact that it's harder overall well I guess not harder overall but it's because it's shorter overall the length of this actual uh, refer for program the built-in in-game version it does make me wonder though since Epic Games is doing a lot with the in-game UI for like little events and stuff because they kind of like copied the code for the Dragon Ball event and used it for this it makes me wonder are they going to stop using websites as much for you know events like this and are they just going to start using the in-game files in order to pop it out you know just be like hey we decided you know make a little tab for you a fancy little slot where you can get some extra challenges and stuff done it would be a nice little thing because I gotta be honest sometimes you know with the websites it's like it kind of sucks because if you want to do that and you want to get all the free rewards you can get in Fortnite you have to always stay up to date you have to always make sure you know what's going on and you have to always make sure you're following leaks news or whatever else so that you can figure out when this website goes live because sure you know they update their blog posts they tell people about it there but let, let's face it, right? Not everyone who plays Fortnite looks at the Fortnite blog post or looks at Fortnite leaks or anything like that. Not everyone who plays this game is going to know every little bit of information going on, you know, when an event goes live, when an event ends or anything in that sort of, like, area. So, you really just gotta think, 
how many people have missed out on rewards from these website events, right? Just because they haven't actually known that the website event existed. I just, I, I feel it would be a pretty big, like, portion of people. Just because, you know, it's, it's like... It's just like there's a lot of people like if I wasn't a Fortnite leaker, right? I probably wouldn't keep up to date with all the Fortnite blog posts and stuff And if I didn't know about Fortnite leaks, there's absolutely no way I would be checking the blog post website every week to be like what's going on You know is there a brand new website event or anything going on because I literally never even like see them in the in-game news feed as someone who leaks the game and everything I never see them add any of these like live event stuff or whatever that they work on to their news feed in the game So it makes me wonder even if I wasn't, you know, a leaker, even if I wasn't a news person, I didn't look at the news or anything like that, how would I have known some of these events were going on? Like, how would I even have known that the current website referrer for an event was going on? And I feel like there might be some people out there who don't know that the current referrer for an website's going on, and they just think that this is one of its kind. You know, this is the first time Epic Games is doing something like this, because it's just a weird situation where Epic Games has, like, terrible advertising for their website stuff. And then when it comes to, you know, the actual in-game challenges like this, it's like, look at this, we got a fancy graphic in the quest menu. Whenever you open up your friends list here, it's at the top. It has the, like, timer and everything. So it's like, it's advertising. It's right there for you to see. And then the other ones are just kind of like, meh, if they know about it, they know about it. We don't want everyone to get this free skin. It's just kind of a thing, you know, mishmash, bishboosh. Maybe they'll find it, maybe they won't. And if they find it late enough, maybe they won't be able to complete it. <laughs> Obviously, I don't think Epic Games is being that evil, trying to make sure people don't complete their challenges. I just feel that, you know, there's a difference between how they advertise the in-game ones and how they advertise the, uh, like, out of sight, uh, I mean, out of game ones, like the ones on different websites and stuff. And plus, as we've noticed recently, Epic Games makes it so the newsfeed is basically different for every player. So the newsfeed on my bot lobby account is going to be different from the newsfeed on my very dedicated account, aka the one I'm playing on right now. And it makes it so when they advertise stuff, it sometimes might get advertised to a certain crowd, like, you know, maybe the older players, maybe the newer players only. And then the other crowd just doesn't know what's going on because, you know, Epic Games has so many different news feed like uh categories why did that break on me i don't know but because epic games has so many like news feed categories going on for the different types of people in their game which also i wonder how do they even sort their news feed that's probably a discussion for another time though overall though do i plan to grind out all of these reboot rally challenges yes am i going to uh enjoy the, the cosmetics Maybe, you know, it's got a nice little fire design. Oh god, I'm gonna shot at. Uh, but at the same time, I'm still just going to question why Epic Games decide to do this now when we already have another program exactly like it going on. Now, as long as, you know, like, here's the thing. As long as the people who, you know, got referred from Refer a Friend are still eligible for this one, I'm fine with it. But one of the people I play with a lot is Citator, as you guys have seen in the background footage of most of my videos, or I guess some of them recently. And I can't really, you know reboot them to this. I checked the menu. I was able to reboot them for Reboot a Friend, like the website version, but I was unable to uh, reboot them for the actual uh, in-game like reboot rally thing that's going on right now. So it makes me wonder, if you did go through and grind out a reboot rally with your uh, whoever you rebooted, are you eligible to reboot them for this one? Let me know in the comments down below, because I would just be curious about it overall. If you are eligible to reboot the person that you rebooted for Reboot a Friend, uh, then good. You know, it's like, I have no issues with this. But if it's like you can't reboot that same person, I feel it just makes it a lot harder to do these challenges, you know, because you have a shorter amount of time. You have to find the right person to actually reboot who wants to play the game and is willing to help you get the rewards. And then you have to, you know, do all this other stuff in order just to do it. And if you're like me, you're like, okay, well, I can't reboot my friend. Guess I'll just use a bot lobby account and make a new one. I can't aim for the sniper for anything. But yeah, overall, it's just, hey, this is interesting. You know, I think that's where this video really boils down to is just... I'm confused, but I'm also intrigued. I'm happy for the free stuff, but I'm confused why they chose now for the free stuff. And with that said, hope champs and champs got some useful information out of this. Sorry if I repeated myself like 50,000 times. You know, that's how it goes with a live commentary style format. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Peace out. You know what? If I can get this snipe, I'm going to put this in here as well. Dang it. I got this. You know what? Watch this, guys. I know I ended the video, but I'm going to get this snipe right here. You know what? Watch this, guys. I know I ended the video, but I'm gonna get this snipe right here. Just watch it.
Oh my god, I can't! Okay, hold on! Hold on, you know what? I, I, I said I was gonna end the video, but I wanna get a snipe up. There we go, snipe one. Are you... Bro, bro, please, 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 no! <laughs> Come on! I sniped another one off camera first try, and I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll start a little bit of another recording here, just to try getting that extra snipe to make it a funny little, uh, funny little, uh, like, gimmick or whatever. And now I just can't, uh, I can't do it. Can you stop moving? Please. Please. Please stop moving. There we go! Alright, goodbye!